Happy Wednesday, Thick and Thinners. I am so glad that you're here. And today we are going to talk about fun ways to burn calories. And these are going to be a mix of in gym and out of gym and some stuff that actually like holds deep meaning into my life and the way that I am and stuff. Um, so let's get into it. <laughs> If this is your first time here, my name is Vanessa and I am chasing the stage for the second time. Um, it's my second attempt to get onto a bodybuilding stage and this time around I am feeling really good about it. Uh, so I am actually... 53 days out from my local show and about 72 days out from my national show that I'm going to be doing. I'm really excited. I feel like I'm actually moving in the right trajectory with my current coach. We have like weekly goals that I should be meeting and if I'm not meeting then we're going to change things, you know? And I feel like that is definitely just a little bit more at ease for me because then I know where I where I stand, you know, because I feel like whenever you do start getting into the any weight loss journey, you're you have these expectations that aren't necessarily always going to align with reality. And so the fact that I can collaborate with somebody now, it it just is a game changer. So again, if this is your first time meeting me, I have actually lost more than 50 pounds in the last year, all with flexible dieting. I count my macros and I try to teach you guys how to empower yourself in learning about nutrition and learning about things that fit your lifestyle and things that make your heart happy, you know, because again, well, I don't want you to feel like you have to shrink yourself to be like that girl or that guy. I want you to be the most confident version of yourself. And sometimes that means that you feel great in a pair of jeans or you feel great when you're walking down the street and you see a shadow of you and you can see little muscle definition. Those are all things that make you feel so empowered and I feel like whenever you do have a happy, healthy mind, you do have a happy, healthy business, whether or not you are an entrepreneur or an employee, they they really do like go hand in hand. So enough with my jibber jabber, I'm gonna get into what you came here for and that is how to burn calories. The I have a previous video that was all about burning calories without getting in the gym this video is talking about like a mixture of in and out of the gym and then next week we'll be talking about even higher burning calorie workouts as well so i'm super excited again thank you guys for watching uh don't forget to like and subscribe because that's going to help me help others and help you and i really want to get to a thousand subscribers by at the end of the year uh, and again the only way that i can do that is to ask you to do me that solid um, so the first one is light impact aerobics that could be like light elliptical or that could be baseball or basketball something that you might have a little bit of jumping around but it's not super high intensity and that's gonna burn about 455 calories per hour and moving forward all of my calorie burning percentages are going to be for a 200 pound human and that is just like kind of like a guideline and a like a, a pivot point for you guys just to kind of like navigate through how to burn calories obviously if you're lighter you might not burn as many calories or if you are super low intensity then you might not burn as many calories but if you're even higher intensity then you'll you might burn more so if you do have a tracker of some sort i would suggest you utilizing that um but let's get into the next one so running on the elliptical 
would also burn about 455 calories. I would say starting with a seven resistance and at least like a little bit of an elevation just to kind of get your blood flowing. Then, then we have one of my favorites, obviously, which is weightlifting and resistance training that will burn about 455 calories per hour, depending on which movement you are doing. Obviously, if you're doing like a chest split, you might not be burning as much because you're heart elevation isn't getting as high as you would on a squat or deadlift day or an accessory day like it it really does depend on the amount of effort that you're giving and for how long you're giving it and also the quality of lifts that you are doing then we have water aerobics which is really good for low impact um, especially if you have joint issues or something like that that could help you out a lot and that's going to burn about 501 calories per hour. So maybe your gym has water aerobics. I know in California, they had like a bunch of the 24-hour fitnesses. They had like water classes. So it suggests maybe checking those out and maybe you'll find something that you like. Uh, then we have light or moderate lap swimming. I love swimming i was always a water baby i actually was able to swim before i could walk and i was also the captain of my water polo team and swim team so those really do speak a lot to me and i love it i don't get to do it as much mostly because of my hair and the fact that i like to get tattoos and you're not allowed to like go into the water for x amount of time so my relationship with the water is not as close as I wish it could be these days, but I would suggest you trying it out because that will burn 528 calories per hour. And yeah, I let me know if you like swimming or anything like that. I, that's actually gonna be our code word for the day and we'll just make it water baby. Water baby is the code word. Um, and then we have hiking. Hiking is great alone or with friends. Either way, I actually do have a ton of lists of hiking spaces in California. So if you ever wanted to do that, uh, or if you needed that, then drop a comment below and I'll send over a list of cool places that I've actually been to and I liked. Um, also I, try to start up a, a meetup for hiking individuals in Northern California. So I'm definitely open to trying it again if you guys are into it. But yeah, so hiking is 546 calories per hour. Again, completely depends on the elevation gain, depends on the amount of effort that you're exerting. And, um, and yeah. Then we have a rowing machine, which is exhausting, but it is also super fun. I actually have a ton of screenshots that I found in my phone of my, like my lap times from before. And it was cool to kind of see that. I'm interested to see what my new times would be, but I haven't tested them yet. I might do that tomorrow actually. And so, Per hour, it would burn 546 calories. Then we have backpacking, which yes, it could technically be hiking, but backpacking is typically when you want to like spend the night or bring all your food. Maybe it's an all day trip instead of like a full, like instead of like a short hiking trip. Most hiking trips can be around like in and out within three or four hours. And then backpacking, that one's a little bit more intensive. So then you're going to also want to bring in multiple meals and stuff like that. Or even a couple days worth of backpacking. And that is going to be 637 calories per hour. Next one is racquetball. So I have alluded to this in the past, but... I was always a gym rat, even though I didn't like to actually like go to the gym or play with like any of the machines or lift weights or anything. 
but I was always at the gym because my dad, my mom, and my stepdad were super racquetball enthusiasts. And like, I even like grew up with one of the racquetball fame people, like celebrities, Sudzy. And he, he was awesome. He was awesome. But, um, but yeah, so racquetball has a huge place in my heart. I was terrible at it whenever I did try. I remember my, I would always like hit my mom with the ball super hard, not on purpose, but like it just happened. Um, and that, it, and it was just fun. Like I was actually willing to get into the, like the racquetball court and stuff and, and everything like that. Again, I was never good at it, but I would suggest you trying it because you just, it's like tennis in a box, but not squash. It's similar to squash, I think. I don't know. But that is going to burn 637 calories per hour. Then we have high impact aerobics. And so that would be considered like a hit interval, jump roping, uh, maybe depending, I guess you could say CrossFit um, or like anything with box jumps, stuff like that, like where you are high impact. It's, it's very high intensity, very high impact. And so that's going to burn around 664 calories. And again, you can make it fun. I like jump roping. You like jump roping as a kid, right? So get back into it. And that is also super user friendly. And most people do have a jump rope laying around their house. And if you don't, then that could, you could find one like on Amazon for probably 10 bucks. So those are 10 ways to burn calories. Thank you guys so much for watching. And sorry, I did ramble quite a little bit in this video, but I wanted to I guess relate to you guys a little bit more so let me know if you liked any of these tips or if there's anything else that you would like me to touch on as I said next Wednesday we'll be talking about the last 10 ways to burn calories and those are all gonna be more than 600 plus calories per hour um, so I'm excited to share those with you and so we'll go over a little bit of my check-in update and everything like that because it has been quite a, a while and that will show the difference between like me lo losing this last 50 pounds in the, since we moved to Texas and honestly I am almost 70 pounds under my heaviest weight which was about 203 or 204 so it's insane to think that like I have come so far and I am so proud of myself and I honestly didn't think I would ever get to this point which again is the reason why I want to share this journey with you uh, I pulled back from showing more day-to-day -day stuff because I want to be able to give you guys value and I don't know if you guys seeing what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is interesting if it is let me know i'm happy to do it i do record often um but i just mostly want to make sure that i am teaching you guys something and like giving you guys something to go away go home with and like utilize in your in your own household so don't forget to like and subscribe but also your thick and thin mitts which are movement intake, hydrate, track, and sleep. And those are the five things that you can kind of keep in your mind and work towards um, if you want a deep dive into that and what that means. Again, I'm happy to tell you, but um, those are all very small and sustainable things that you can start implementing in your in your life that will have greater impact in the long run those are all things that I have focused on in the last year plus and that without those key habits I wouldn't have gotten to where I am now so let's get it started I love you all so much 
through thick and thin. Mwah.